as I let you go Gonna tell you how much I love you Though you think you already know I remember I thought you looked like an angel Wrapped in pink so soft and warm You've had me wrapped around your finger Since the day you were born You were asked how to describe your closest friend, you could do it easily in many words without much thought. What you would be describing is that person's personality, but what shaped their personality and made them who they are today. To better understand this, we could take a look at many theories of development, but specifically in this video we would take a look at Eric Erickson's theories of psychosocial development. Eric Erickson, born in 1902, died in 1994. Erickson was a psychoanalyst who provided an alternative psychodynamic view in his theory of psychosocial development, which emphasizes our social interaction with other people. In Erickson's view, society and culture both challenge and shape us. Erickson's theory suggests that developmental change occurs throughout our lives in eight distinct stages. Stages emerge in a fixed pattern and are similar for all people. Erickson argued that each stage presents a crisis or conflict that an individual must resolve. Although Erickson was a Neo-Freudian, he believed that growth and change continued throughout the lifespan from birth through late adulthood. How we deal with stages in our lives shape our personalities. Meet my friend Ashley. She is currently in her adolescent stage of development, which Erickson called identity versus role confusion. Ashley can look forward to three more stages in her lifetime that Erickson defined as early, middle, and late adulthood. During early adulthood, she will deal with intimacy versus isolation. The positive outcome of this stage leads to development of loving sexual relationships and close friendships. The negative outcome will lead to fear of relationships with others. The next stage of development will be middle adulthood. Middle adulthood deals with generativity versus stagnation. The positive outcome is a sense of contribution to the continuity of life. The negative outcome is a trivialization of one's activities. The last and final stage of development is late adulthood which Erickson called ego integrity versus despair. Positive outcome would be a sense of unity in life's accomplishments, opposed to a regret over lost opportunities of life. I decided to look at these stages first because we cannot accurately predict what will happen in the future. However, we can take a look at stages Ashley has already lived, compare each stage with my perspective of how I feel, her personality correlates with Erickson's stages, of psychosocial development and the interactions Ashley actually had from the perspective of her mother. By making these comparisons we can accurately predict that there is a correlation between these stages through behavioral interactions that shape Ashley's personality. I would describe her as a very trusting person. Erickson theorized that the first stage of development from birth to about 12 to 18 months of age was trust versus mistrust. In order for her to be trusting, she would have feelings of trust from environmental support during the stage. Her mother described her eating habits as, quote, fed on demand, end quote. This feeding schedule would develop a sense of trust. In the next stage, autonomy versus shame and doubt, I would classify her outcome as shame and doubt. This would be a negative outcome that displays doubts about self and lack of independence contrary to self-sufficiency. Her mother described her as very dependent. Moving on, to Freud's phallic stage, Erickson called this stage initiative versus guilt. I would classify Ashley's outcome negatively, where she displays guilt from actions and thoughts, opposed to discovery of ways to initiate actions. As her mother described to her before, Ashley was very dependent, especially on her mother. In the next stage, Ashley displays a positive outcome as she displays a development of sense of competence. This stage is called industry versus inferiority. Inferior traits would show no sense of mastery. This age, Ashley began to engage in cooperative play with other children, participate in organized sports, and displayed a sense of mastery in the classroom, leading to what Erickson called industry. From adolescence to adulthood, Ashley displays self-confidence in Erickson's stage identity versus role diffusion. Erickson would describe her as having awareness of uniqueness of self and knowledge of role to be followed contrary to the inability to identify appropriate roles in life. Ashley's mother said she was not reluctant to develop relationships with members of the opposite sex and has gained a strong sense of her self-image in the past couple of years. 
Based on how Ashley's mother described her childhood compared to my views of her personality, we can see a strong correlation to Erickson's stages of development. The psychosocial theory is an approach to study the development that encompasses changes in our understanding individuals have of their interactions with others, of others' behavior, and of themselves as members of society. Thanks to Erickson, we can see how a person's personality is primarily shaped by their experience.